Hello, my loves. Welcome to your monthly love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, let's get started. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Leos, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Holy Spirit. So we have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and we have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups, and we have the Eight of Swords. We have the Chariot, Cancerian energy, and we have the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We have this, I was about to say the six, we've got the lover's card, Gemini energy, and we have the eight of wands. So Leo, this may be, um, this may be you, or this could be your person, Leo. Okay. So what I'm feeling here is we have someone that maybe was not very affectionate, not showing a lot of love, not showing, um, you know, not giving a lot to the connection. And that's because this person was still stuck on an ex. Plain and simple, Leo. Someone here was still stuck on an ex. Um, now, that doesn't mean that they were still in love with an ex. It could mean that this person maybe was still guarded because of an ex, still hurt over the past. Um, it could also be childhood issues. You know, it could be that someone here is just, you know, going through a lot of mental and emotional trauma due to either a past relationship or childhood issues. Um, but I feel like what's happening here is we have somebody that is making the decision to take an offer and move forward in a connection so i feel like someone is trying to leave the past behind and move forward yeah i feel like we have we have the hierophant under the deck someone here may be coming in for higher levels of commitment um deciding that it's time to let go you know tell me about this knight of cups tell me about this knight of cups we have the empress Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like, Leo, this person does love you. They do want to manifest with you. But I feel like it was slow, slow moving due to, again, an ex or a past situation. We've got the Magician, Virgo, Gemini Energy, and the Justice card, Libra Energy. I feel like there may have been an ex in someone's life. Um, or maybe even again childhood issues someone was manipulated a lot someone was hurt a lot and someone was stuck on wanting revenge so let me explain to you what i mean by that let's just say i'm in a relationship right now and this person hurts me really bad okay and now the connection is over and i'm trying to move on with my life but i'm still kind of hanging on to wanting this person to come back and grovel and beg for me back and kind of like get revenge and see karma take over this person's life and i kind of want that so much that it's stopping me from moving forward with someone else like yeah i like you and you may be the one but i just want to kind of take things slow because in case that person comes back groveling i want to be able to enjoy it do you understand what i'm saying that's kind of the energy that i'm picking up here the chariot and the nine of swords the page of cups and the ten of wands i feel like someone here is giving up they're giving up on waiting for this apology to come in so as hard as it as it is to let go they are letting go they are letting go We've got the Lover's card here and the Four of Wands. They are moving towards stability and commitment. And with the Eight of Wands and the Four of Swords, now they're focused more on healing, having stability, having love in their life than they are wanting revenge or wanting this person to come back. Like, you know, when someone hurts you and you want them to come back and do right by you, like, no, they're going to come back and I want them to apologize and I want them to... Do you understand what I'm saying? But someone here gives up. They give up on waiting for this apology to come in or this offer to come in. And it's been hard for this person. So Leo, that could be you. That could be your person. Take it as it resonates. But someone here wants forward movement. Um, the 1111 card. It's a divinely guided soulmate, possibly twin flame. Um, but they're moving forward and wanting to heal. Messages for my Leos, please. We have the star, Aquarian energy. And the Queen of Wands, Leo Sag Aries energy. We have the Seven of Cups and we have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Three of Swords 
and we have the Eight of Cups. King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, and the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So we have a true pair on the board, the King to the Queen of Wands. I feel like this Queen of Wands energy, Leo, could possibly be you, had a lot of hope for this connection, okay? You have a lot of hope for this connection. And I feel like you kept yourself busy. You kept yourself busy because if you stopped and looked at what was happening in this connection, you would realize that there was something missing. There was a lack of love, a lack of attention, a lack of, you know what I'm saying? See that Knight of Cups and that and that Six of Pentacles. Someone here was being breadcrumbed. So Leo, because it hurt so much that you were not receiving affection from this person, you just kept busy. You see what I'm saying? You just kept busy and you just kept trucking on because you knew that ultimately you and this king and queen of wands would come together and there would be commitment. So you stayed loyal, Leo, or whoever is on the side stayed grounded. They held their ground. Um, they just kept busy while this person here figured out it's time to move on from the past and move forward. Okay. We have the Star card and the Death card, Scorpionic Energy, the Queen of Wands, and the Lover's card. So, Leo, I feel like that, you know, what's happening here is someone needed to heal. There was an ending in this person's life. And with the Lover's card, there's a strong soul tie between you and this person. Very, very strong soul tie. And, Leo, I feel like, I don't know if it's intuition or something told you to just give this person time to heal. The Seven of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, you had this awareness or this understanding of the situation so you just kept busy or someone here just kept busy giving the other person time to heal the eight of pentacles and the ten of cups yeah you were just working on the future working on whatever you had to work on or your person was doing this the three of swords and the queen of pentacles the ace of cups and the eight of cups so i feel like it was hard I feel like it was hard to stay committed. It was hard to stay loyal. It was hard. It really was hard. There were points and times where you maybe wanted to give up and go look for something new, but you didn't. Someone here stayed strong in this connection. They did. King of Wands and the Page of Swords. They gave this King of Swords, excuse me, this King of Wands energy time to come to that awakening with the Page of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. And we've got that Knight of Cups right up here. Someone gave the other person time to realize what they have in front of them. Does that make sense? You understand? Um, yeah, someone gave their person time to heal from the past and realize that, you know, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, and it's time to move on and move forward. Spirit, what challenge do we have here? We have the Two of Cups, strong soul tie connection here, strong, and the Four of Swords. Yeah, I feel like it's a strong soul tie connection, but someone here needs to heal. And now we've got the King to the Queen of Pentacles on the board with the King to the Queen of Wands. Um, I feel like this is going to end in commitment. I do. I just feel like um, it's been a process. The outcome here is the Ten of Swords. The Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy, and the Ace of Cups. I'm, it's time to t it's time to recognize and accept that something is over, and it's time to move on to new love. Okay, yeah, I feel. Look at this. We've got the Tower, Aries, Scorpionic Energy, the Five of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. Someone is realizing it's time to let go. It's time to let go, Leo. There's something new, something beautiful, something prosperous. And it's time to just accept the blessing that's in front of you. Okay, so that might be you, Leo. That could be your person. Um, but someone is is about to this this is this is gonna become stronger now. It's gonna become um it's not gonna be emotionally disconnected. It's it's things are going to improve here. We've got hidden motivations, we've got the sacred temple, and we've got the loving man. So I feel like when this connection started, this person, I'm not going to say that they had bad intentions because they didn't, um, but this person had other things on their mind. And what they had on their mind was, I'm waiting for my ex to come back and grovel and make it right because they hurt me. But then they started to appreciate you. Then they started to see your worth and they fell in love with you. OK, um, the status of this connection is changing. Do you understand the status of this connection is changing? 
clarity, guidance, love messages for my Leos, please. We've got Angel of Strength, Man Holding a Coin, and Fifth Chakra. Yeah, I feel like before someone was holding back, and now they're moving forward with higher levels of commitment. Yeah, now they're moving forward with higher levels of commitment, Leo. Now again, that could be you or that could be your person. We have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. We've got true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And we have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves, your bond deepens. Yep, I feel like things are, you and this person are going to become way closer. You and this person are going to become way closer, Leo. Your, your commitment to one another is going to become stronger because this is true love. Okay, very strong soul tie connection here. I love you guys. Bye.